What's going on everyone? John here, the Wolf of Ecom. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your business managers verified as soon as possible. Now, there really is no perfect formula to this, but these are the steps you have to follow if you wanna have any chance at getting your business managers verified. Now, this is something that Facebook rolled out over a year ago, and at first it was like one of the many new rollouts that they have that we just ignored because it didn't actually have an impact. But just like the, the customer feedback score, which I did a video on how to work around for the short term until Facebook really cracks down on it, this is not actually a workaround. This is exactly showing you how to give Facebook exactly what they want, okay? And that's more information, more security, basically more to build more trust with you and them as the advertiser, right? So what this is gonna also allow you to do is to, first of all, appeal any disabling of accounts or ban business managers. Second thing it's gonna do, it's gonna raise the amount of money you could spend on a daily basis as you also spend money and have your credit card dinged for ad spend, right, on the initial ad account. The third thing it's gonna do is it's gonna unlock the ability to add additional ad accounts to the business manager. Now, something really interesting is I've been finding when we hire new profiles or one of my students will make a new business manager for the first time ever on their profile, there's a high likelihood of the business manager getting disabled. So I wanted to actually use a disabled business manager as, as a example, right? So this would be the scenario where you either make a new business manager yourself or someone gives you one and then it immediately gets disabled, which is very likely. Even if you have a old profile that has a lot of trust in history of Facebook, it's just the way Facebook's doing it now. They're trying to put more hoops for you to jump through as an advertiser. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. And we're going to start by looking at a disabled business manager because this is very likely what's going to happen. You're going to open the business manager and right away it's going to be disabled, which is really annoying. Okay, but it is what it is. So let's go into business settings. In the past, you would be able to just appeal this, but it's not an option. Okay, now we're going to go down to business info and we're going to go to here. So what I want to do is I want to actually first fill this out exactly as my business entity, my LLC, my corporation shows, okay? So I've actually created what I'll show you in a minute too, is a one page website. I did this with ClickFunnels, you can do this with WordPress. Basically you need a website that has your business name, has privacy policy, terms of service, and also your contact info, the address and the email that you're going to be verifying with. If, if there's a mismatch on the documents on this one page website and this these contact details, whether it be the email or the phone number, you will pretty much are guaranteed to get the business manager not approved. And then, you know, you're going to wait anywhere from another day or two to another three to four weeks or so. Right. So the time for verification is going to be either right away, I find, or typically two to three weeks after you submit. Okay. And there's a chance that even if you do it right, things are going to come back rejected. Very frustrating, but it is what it is. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back here and we're going to go and fill this out exact, right? So it is digital products LLC. Remember you want the address to match. You want the address to match the document. So whatever the LLC or S Corp is attached to, that's what you want this to show. Up here, I can remember the phone number. And I actually purchased this domain, which I recommend you do as well. That is my exact uh, EIN or, uh, you know, LLC name, right? So I literally purchased digital products, LLC.com. So everything is super congruent. Okay, now we're gonna save. Now we actually do the verification. You gotta turn on two factor if you haven't for everyone. Good to add a backup admin. If this isn't showing here, all you need to do, go to developers.facebook.com. And all you need to do is create an app and attach it to the business manager. So how do you do that? Very simple. You're going to hit these three, or not going to hit those three lines. This window is super small for some reason. I don't know why. Let's try it. Uh, my apps. If I'm creating a new app, I've already made an app, let's say for everything. So I would actually just select the business manager that I need. Okay, I've already done it. So, um, but normally I would just do this. I just usually name it the same as the business manager. So I know which app is what, right? 
All right, so now we're gonna start the verification. So that's a, that's the trick if you find that it's not even give you the option to verify. Okay, we've already got this plugged in. Same information, we need that to be exactly, and if you enter your business details correct, this is what it's gonna display. All right, so now we're gonna select English unless it's another language that you're submitting documents. And you wanna usually submit your, you know, your business certification, right? So from your, like your county, for example, or you want to submit your articles of incorporation. So let's see, digital products, articles, visual and receipt, boom. Okay, those are ready. We're gonna submit those three. And then here they want a utility bill or like a bank. Remember, it basically just needs to have your information on it. So if it's if it's legitimately your business and your address, and it doesn't ha include like phone number or address, I recommend you just add it on there, just like Photoshop it on to your actual documents that are legitimate because it's just gonna make it easier with Facebook, right? So now here, here's what you wanna do. You wanna do it by email. So I believe it's verify at the domain. Let's just double check. Five Fish Fox LLC, verify. Um, and now we're gonna submit and we're going to wait. And let's go over, should arrive here. Sometimes it doesn't. And what's what I've found too, is that some domains for whatever reason, uh, I've ro I usually rotate maybe five to 10 business managers per domain. I don't really have any issues with that. It's just hit or miss with the timing of how long it's gonna take to verify. But what I do find is that some for some reason, the email that you submit just stops working, right? So maybe like the first two times, like you can see one and two here actually submitted. I got the email in, in response but it doesn't like this is coming. So what you could do to problem solve this is sometimes either Facebook just maybe blocks the URL is my assumption because I'll try to make different emails with this. Oh, there we go. Doesn't even matter. But um, yeah, so if you see the emails just not coming through, like what happened to one of my domains and EINs, I just, uh, I tested making another email for the same EIN or domain and it didn't work. So what I had to do, I just had to make and repeat the process with the one page website, the documents, everything from scratch, okay? So that's how you do it. This is gonna actually allow you to create more ad accounts, to uh, have less limitations, and to build more trust. And if you do ever go into ad account getting disabled or business manager getting disabled, you just don't have to worry about uh, having to confirm your ID. Well, you, you probably have to confirm your ID regardless, but you won't have to wait potentially three to four weeks to submit a case uh, to appeal it, right? So take care of this right away for every business manager you have and be prepared for this for any new business manager you acquire, okay? Have a great day, guys, and enjoy your Q4.